Scrabble Guy, Scrabble Guy, Scrabble Guy. Yo, Scrabble Guy here, and it's time for some old school, good old education. And we're going to learn about anagrams. What's an anagram? Simple. It's a word that you use to make another word without adding or taking any tiles away. Watch. Cat becomes act, right? C A T. There's the C, there's the A, there's the T. Pretty simple. We'll do it again for those of you that went to public school. Okay. Um, dog. Dog. Don't get don't get excited. I don't mean anything by it, but it's an anagram. Let's try this one. We'll go a little tougher. How about tops or pots, right? Or ops. All of these words are anagrams because these four tiles right here are jumbled around to create new words without adding or taking anything away. That's what an anagram is. Now, anagramming is huge for success in Scrabble because sometimes a word might not fit. If you anagram it, move the letters around, it'll now fit. So you have to know your anagrams. It's huge. Okay, in closing here, before we look at some examples on the actual Facebook page, um, here's my favorite, Old West Action. Okay, everyone with me? Let's get that C. Let's get the L. Let's get the I. Let's get the N. You see where I'm going with this? Let's get that T. What's left over? Well, there's an E. How about that A? How about that S? Oh, hey, and there's another T. And there's the W. There's an O. There's another O, and right here, the D. And there you have an anagram, folks. Try it with your own name. I've got one for me. I can't share with you, but go ahead. Have some fun with anagramming. It's a wonderful way to improve your Scrabble game. By the way, there's a clip here on the website. A good friend of mine from the Big Island, from down under, the Anagram Hunter, actually has a feature on my website where you can watch him anagram in person. It's amazing, it's stunning, it's shocking. It'll be a lot of fun too. So enjoy and keep watching the Winning Scrabble Secrets. Whoa! Okay, so I'm playing a game and I've got a promising looking rack. And let's see if we can find that bingo because there is one there and I've discovered it. And I'm gonna place it, okay? G-R-O-U-P-I-E, groupie. Now, just so you know, um, my background is showbiz, and I'm not going to talk about my past, but there are no groupies in Scrabble that I'm aware of, um, as there should not be, okay? Just not the right place for you. Uh, but I have a huge, major problem with this location. I can't find anywhere else to play groupie. I can play it here. E-N or N-E are both good, but the problem is I'm setting up a possible triple-triple, okay? So I'm going to get 65 points and give up uh, 120. Do I want to do that? Uh, not really. So, because I'm Scrabble Guy, I've got a better play. Watch this. P-I-R-O-G-U-E. Now, that's a type of a canoe. Now, check out the beauty of this. No triple set up for my opponent. I get two more points, and I'm able to do this because of the power of the parallel overlap play. And U is good. O E is good. It's a wind. And Scrabble Guy. Once again, because Scrabble Guy does not brag. Can you show me that again? Egg. I've scored a bingo without setting up my opponent too badly. And it's all about knowing your anagrams, your location, and that equates to winning Scrabble. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to keep it fun, because even though it's Scrabble, it's only just a game. We'll see you next time.